Um, the first note that we want to highlight is the problem that they solve. So they've got a great intro section here. And I'm going to leave that alone just for a second because I'm not quite sure where that belongs. But um, I do like this um, first section right here. I'm going to try and create the subheading. Putting for corporations now, but I might change that later. And then I'm going to start another section for job seekers. Because again, we want to highlight the two specific audiences that they have. Yeah, see, there's no sentence that really, yeah, that really speaks to the job seeker. So I'm going to set that aside for one second and see um, if we can answer the next section of that formula. So who we serve. We've got the industries here. I'm going to put that here because that speaks to the corporation. Yeah, I don't really have many comments on that particular sentence. I think it's pretty clear. I'm just not sure about the order again because we really want to follow this formula. And I'm going to guesstimate that it can help companies of all sizes. So I want to put that somewhere here. And if I'm wrong about that, you know, the great thing about doing it with the client is I can ask them the question directly and we can incorporate that we can go back and forth by email to make sure that that's clear enough. So that answers that for the companies. Now to how it works. I think it's as easy as contacting them, but I just want to see if there's anything else that they've given me that I can work with that shows specifically something different about how they work with their um, clients. And again, this is information that I would, that would, I would need to get from the client in advance. So I'm going to take this sentence here and again, move it up to the part where we're speaking to companies. And I'm going to move this to the, to the end. But this sentence doesn't really tell me how they work specifically. It still says what they do. So I think I'm going to bring that up to this paragraph. And this is actually more clear than who they partner with. No, but we do want to speak to who we serve first. So we're going to leave that there. And the last section is what to do. So what the call to action is. So that's what we have down here. I like that. Again, we're speaking specifically to companies. So I'm going to leave that here. And even better, I'm going to hyperlink contact us, but I mean, they do have it as um, a hyperlink, but it's not super clear where it's going to go. So I might actually even recommend it twice. And I'm going to highlight this as well, call it off. And I'm going to use this as an opportunity to mention the company name again. Oops. And I'm just looking at this first sentence to see if I like it. Again, we are speaking to the companies here, but I want to add a second half that speaks to the job seeker. So I'm helping um, job seekers on the right positions in any industry. And I'm going to actually copy that because that answers the problem that they solve in this second section of the home page. And I'm going to repeat the company name again. Instead of helping me use assist. find employment too formal of a word and it's repeated in the company name already so I'm going to change it back to jobs and change this back to position. Now, does that answer the problem they solve? 
I think so. So we're going to knock that off. Um, who they serve? Um, I think it's pretty much any adult. I know that we can get even more specific in terms of executives. You could use office personnel, executives, including office personnel and executives. Okay, so we've knocked that off. What they will do. So we've got a couple notes here, and we're going to turn that into some workable copy. So this is kind of answering the two, what we will do and how it works. So maybe we'll nail it in the head a little bit more. In terms of fees, that is definitely a benefit, so we want to keep that up top. Um, the last thing is the call to action. So let's see if we can mimic this call to action. So I'm going to copy this. regarding employment needs. And for consistency, let's say clear contacts. We'll find a position that's the best fit for you. I'm going to do count the word count and we're at 238 so that's pretty good um we can add you can even add a little bit more because 250 should really be the minimum for any website page so i'm going to see if we can fill that in anymore using the keywords of the guidelines so mm -hmm. let's see where the word count is now we're at 257 so just like i said the minimum should be 250, and I'm pretty happy with that first draft. This is the, the, the point in time where I would share this with you, and then we can um, make more revisions. So let's see how long that took us. That was just under half an hour. So you'll notice um, that I didn't, I don't have the same formula that I had when we did the homepage edit, and that's because this is more of a company backgrounder history um you know more about our team more about our values and our vision that kind of a page so the first thing i'm going to say is i don't like the dot 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 this is very um i don't know it's very casual um and it's i would say it's more personal so i am going to remove that um but i do like how it you know they're saying this is our story they're putting a stake in it so i'm going to actually bold that so this first sentence here um it's not a full sentence, actually. Um, there's no verb um, or a passive verb, rather. I kind of want to just hammer in how long they've been in service. And instead of saying 25 years, which actually continues to change, um, the more that time passes, it's going to be 26 years next year, 27 years the following year. I actually prefer that companies state the year that they started their services. So since um, what's 25 years from now, 1995. And again, that could be, that might not be accurate, but I'm just going to, so I'm just going to put that in red. So it's something I know I should fly to the client. We have served our community as recruitment and human resources experts. I always like to put the full version of something abbreviated right at the top. There's a lot of have-beens here, it's too much in the past. <laughs> we want to focus on the present and the future. Um, 
as we go along, of course. So I'm going to shorten that. We've been fortunate to partner with companies. They're not actually partnering with industries. They're partnering with companies in many industries. I kind of like that, but I don't think they need an exclamation point there because you want to be as professional as possible. And exclamations denote, again, person so at or company or companies. We build bridges with, with candidates and candidates. Now we can abbreviate, I think, and hiring solutions for our candidates and clients. Now, this is sounding a little repetitive, so I'm going to change candidates to job seekers. I like successful fit because you want to be successful with every client. And I don't like the word harmonious. Ensure that you, you is unclear. It could be the job seeker or the hirer. So we're going to ensure that companies hire the right person for the job. Companies hire the right person for the job and that our job seekers find the right employer or ever changing. Maybe it's less negative than volatile. Difficult but opportune. And candidates. Those don't need to be capitalized during any job market condition. I personally think that values are how you set yourself apart from other businesses. Those could be the deciding factors between whether I'm going to choose career contacts as my recruitment company or recruitment agency, or if I'm going to choose something else. So I actually like putting the values up front. And I know that that's going to bury the team a little bit. And I think this is, this section is pretty good. Um, just want to make, correct some grammar. Um, we leverage, I think there should be a comma there couple comments here. We leverage, live, and breathe this in our own workplace. They don't need to say always because we want to assume that they're always putting the employee safety first. Yeah, I like that a lot. I think the values are really clear. I still feel I'm kind of missing a pers some sort of personal hook in the beginning. I'm going to remove true generalists because generalists is very general. And I think I want to say corporate clients instead of just clients, again, to differentiate between regular candidates. Yeah, so I'm pretty happy with that section. Um, so I'm going to go down to the keywords and see if there are any that we can fill in or replace words with um, that we've done as much keywording, um, if that's a verb, as we can with it. So I'm going to have one more read through and see if there are any other tweaks that I think should be put in. You know, instead of the slashes, if it is three separate companies, I'd rather that it be in commas because it feels like instead of getting one or the other, I can get a blend of each of the service arms that they offer. All right, so I'm pretty happy with this draft and we'll be sending that to the client. Um, let's have a check at how long that took us. Um, 21 minutes, so just under half an hour. I hope this has been helpful and gives you an idea of how I can serve clients. And thanks so much for tuning in to um, my edit. If you want to contact me, I'm at the vegancopywriter.co. Um, and I look forward to answering any of your questions um, by email or by social media. Thanks.